hello I am going to be making some faux specimen cards today uh, this is going to be our crafty patches August on the side challenge these ones here I had downloaded a digital kit from witchcraft do you do so you can either do it that way if you want but I have got an easy way that you can do your own if you don't want to download them but with our challenge this month for August our on the side challenge um, it's got a little bit of a different uh, challenge in it so we're going to be making specimen cards but we had a lovely suggestion from Karen Mulholland and she suggested that we use an image or a picture or a symbol of the country that we come from because we have got um, we have got a lot of Australian ladies we've got New Zealand we've got UK and we've also got the USA so what we th what Karen thought it'd be nice if we could use a symbol or an image just showing where we come from what country we come from okay so my images I love the butterflies but my images I just pulled out some stamps that I've got these ones here have got Australia on them and that's all the floral emblems the Waratah bottle brush wattle What's that one? That's the flannel flower and the Christmas bell. Christmas bell. So I got those. I also got an image of Uluru in the Northern Territory. Um, I got the Sydney Opera House from New South Wales. Plus I also grabbed out some of our wildlife, the echidna, koala, the cotton tail, oh, brush tail possum, it's the common brush tail possum and a common wombat. So I just thought I'd use these stamps for my images, I don't know which one I'm going to use, I just brought um, grabbed a variety of them okay so and they can be any size that you want there's no specific size to make your specimen card so you could make them you know from your digital download this size here is actually like three and a half inches which is about 8.5 centimeters by I'd say three and three quarters which is about 9.2 centimeters um, but I'm going to show you an easy way to do it if you don't um, have that have a digital download I just got out some papers here now these are from Tim Holtz you can use any paper that you like but I looked here uh, these are the I think they're two by three um, I work in inches. No, that's the 3 by 4 sorry. Right, that's it. 3 by 4 um, images here on this pattern paper. So what I thought I might do is um, use this to show you um, how to make just an easy I'm just looking at what, what ones. I think I'll use this one here. Um, I was just looking to see which ones I liked so what I'm going to do I'm going to just cut down one of the strips so and then I'm going to cut it down here and I'm going to leave two of the three by four images intact so that I will have to fold them I'm not going to cut them okay so I have that now oops I hit my light so now I've got this here so there's a 3 by 4 here and a 3 by 4 there I'm just having a look to see which side I'd like I think I might use this one so I'm going to use this one here as my front and that will be the back all I'm going to do is fold that in half 
so that it's nice and even and press that down there and I want to use something to cut out like a window here and what I pulled out uh, I have this little plastic kids template thing so what I thought I might do is actually use I can use the square or I could use um, this one here but I think I might use the square just something different okay when you um, when you do this you just want to make sure that you've got enough on either side left here so that you can glue it down okay so to make my to make my mark to draw my window I'm going to turn it inside out so I'm going to draw this on the inside okay so I'm just going to draw a square hopefully that's centered yeah it looks pretty good and then I'm just going to cut the square out just grab my knife I thought I had it up here oh here it is that one should still be um, sharp that should still be sharp. I used it the other day to cut some wood. <laughs> it didn't work, but I still tried to use it. And I'm going, well, okay, we're back to this, Wendy. Back, back, back. Don't get sidetracked. So I'm going to end up cutting that square out, and I'm going to cut it through both, pe both sides, okay? So I'm going to keep it folded and cut this out. and I've got to go through both pieces of paper so I'll just be a bit firmer um, hopefully this will work I haven't done it this way before um, I've either used um, a die and cut it like with a as an oval or a, a rectangle die you can have the shape of your window can be any shape at all guys okay that's what I thought I'll just do a little square one for one of those stamps that I'm using okay so I have my window cut out make sure I went through all of that okay and because that's the inside I'm going to just flip it over and you've still got your nice shaped window just there okay now I am going to put an image in here and I think I might use one of the one of the flower the flow the emblems flower floral emblems oh dear it's early morning I've got a little pair of decorative edge scissors here so what I might do um, I'll grab the wattle one for this side here and the other side I might grab the waratah so I'm just going to cut those out now I'm going to cut out I'm cutting out two because I'm going to glue these two together back to back you can just put an image on the front and then leave the black the the black leave the back of it plain if you want to okay so I've got those two there and just a little bit of glue Um, I might use this one it's still got some in it okay so I'm going to put a bit of glue on here 
and I'll put a bit on that one as well and just glue these two images together back to back and hopefully there oh that looks pretty cool that they look pretty even okay so I've got that that is going to go into my window now for the window you can use acetate if you've got acetate or if you have a, a laminator you could put all your little images in the laminator sleeves and run it through the laminator that's the way I done the butterflies but I'm just doing it as if I I don't own any of those things okay so I've just got a plastic bag it can be a recycled plastic bag and all I'm going to do is just get the size that I want for my plastic. I'm just leaving a little edge right around my window. Okay. And I'm just going to cut my plastic bag down. just like that and then I can open up my plastic bag and put my image in there now this is where it gets a little bit fiddly because if you want it even like your image right in the center you just have to play around with it a little bit so what I think I might do is I'm going to glue my plastic bag down at the back. Um, I do want to ink around there though. So just on the outside front and back I'm just going to put a little bit of ink around my window. Wow, oh, what's that noise? There. Okay, I've got that on. Okay, a little bit of ink. Now I'm going to put some glue around my window frame. And then up there just to hold the back part of my my plastic down. Now the opening's just there, so I'm just going to put that on there. And that glue is just going to hold the back of it on. And while I do that, I can actually like more or less center my image which I think that looks pretty good. It doesn't have to be perfect guys but that looks pretty good to me. So now that that's done I should have put a bit of glue just around here. Okay just on the opening part of my plastic I put a little bit more glue. You could also use um, double sided tape it works a lot better than glue. But I want to give mine a little bit of a stitch around the ed around the edges. And then all you have to do is just glue your front down. And then the front one just covers that all up there. Okay. Alright, so that is the start of your specimen card see that's pretty cool I like that so what I'm going to do now I want to give mine a, a stitch on my sewing machine right around there just to jazz it up a bit oh and that's the back sorry 
so it's like a, a two-way mirror but if you don't want to put a picture on the back you could just put um, a little plain bit of uh, coffee pa coffee dyed paper or tea dyed paper or even just white paper and you could do a little bit of stamping on it just so that it doesn't um, you know look too plain all right so what I think I might do is just grab my corner punch here and I might just do the these ones up here I think Oops. and of course it'll get stuck first go because I've got glue there haven't I okay right oh come on all right we'll fix that later all right okay so I'm just going to round my top edges and just ink ink around here and ink around the back as well now you know you don't have to use your sewing machine or anything like that I'm just choosing to I've just inked around both my front and back edges and I'm going to just do a sewing machine stitch around the edge just because I want to do something different like that I don't think I've stitched around um, specimen cards before but I do like the way that's turned out okay so I have that and what I might do um, is just punch a hole and so I can add some kind of little dangle on there so I'll do that now I'll push that up the back Oops. okay so with this one here I might put like an olive one on there I like using the different colored ones they're pretty Okay, so I'm just going to put that in there. Um, wrong one, Wendy. I had to turn that bottom one around. All right. So let's just gentle press on that and then just a firmer press. There we go. Good and I can put something on there but I'm going to just grab a label or something to put on here just to decorate it up a little bit more oh it looks okay. lovely so I want some kind of label on there I've got a few here I've got plain ones here so let me just I've got that one there these ones I've handmade just um, using some cream cardboard and decorative paper around the outside I'm just thinking I might want something a bit bigger I don't maybe red on the other side because that's red there oh that might look good there and oh maybe let me see no too big That'd be way too big. I should have had this organised. I'm sorry, guys. Maybe the green. Let's try the green on the other side. Okay. All right, that'll do. I'll have the green on this side. Um, now, if you haven't got a label, you can just cut a decorative piece of paper 
into like a little rectangle shape or you could have an oval shape or you know whatever you prefer or you could even if you've got you know the specimen little labels this one here is from a Kerry I've just remembered her name this is from witchcraft do you do she actually has like little specimen labels but I'm just showing you what you can do um, if you don't have if you don't have any digital downloads okay so I'm going to put that one just more or less center that just there on that side and then I will put this red one on on the other side these ones here I have actually printed uh, off a free um, a free printable that I was given um, but these 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 two here sorry guys these are that, that, that these two here I actually made um, I actually handmade them so I can show you how I handmade those so all I did where's the scissors there they are all I did was just cut out a rectangle shape now this is going to be very rough okay it's not going to be cut properly cut a rectangle shape then I cut the corners off just like that okay and then I glued this part onto some decorative paper but I'm just using white here so that you can see what I'm doing and I've left a little edge down the bottom and a little edge at the side there and then I'm going to cut it so that I leave an edge there and also leave an edge at the top and then I just sniffed, snipped off the corners again so it really is easy whoops, to make your own your own labels too okay so that's how easy it is to, just to make your own labels I just used some scrap cardboard I had so and they look pretty cool I did ink around um, the edges but you know looking at them through my viewfinder you wouldn't even know the difference really well maybe <laughs> if I haven't cut them straight or something like that okay so back to this um, so there's that side and there's that side and you can have it um, that's a bit crooked but that's okay um, you can have it either side that you want all right so I have I've made my my faux specimen card and I've got an image that shows the country that I've come from so that's um, Australia wattle and that's Australia with the Waratah now to finish it off you can just get a pen or a marker let me see and I don't really like my my handwriting but like you could stamp something on there you could stamp a number on there um, oh let me see if I have got a, a specimen um, I've got this the Tim Holtz um, stamp set here and it has it has its own specimen stamp here but I think I might just go for a number actually I might do that one um, and just do some stamping on it just to decorate it something a little bit different so I'll use my stays on and I've got number Okay, so I'm just going to stamp that on there. Oh, that looks pretty cool. And for the back, I'm 
might do this one here, the number below it. Okay, so just turn that over. And I'll just put that right there. I think I moved that then. Might be a bit blurry. <laughs> I wobbled it when I put it down towards the label. Oh no, turned out good. Turned out a lot better than the other one. Okay. All right, so I've got got a couple of numbers on there. Do I want to put anything else on there? Um, no, I'll just leave it at that. Leave that as it is. Okay, and what I might do, I'll grab that marker now and the front here, I will just write specimen. So I've written specimen there in my own handwriting and I might just give it like a, a little bit of a signature there on the bottom as well doesn't really say anything and I'll do the same over here and over this side here I might just put the date which will scratch for a signature all I have to do now is just find some little decorative thing, little dangle to put on here. Okay, I'm just going to add, I just found a little bumblebee. I can't find my other charms, um, but I'm just going to add the charm on here. And I forgot to close my door so you can hear the banging even more. Okay, but you could also, like I'd done in the other ones, you could also like add that and just put a bit of um, seam binding in, a bit of ribbon or something like that. Okay, so that's it guys. That's how easy it is. I just closed my door. That's how easy it is to make a faux specimen card. I think it looks pretty cool. Okay. got that one that side and that one on that side um, you could also do some stamping on the outside but I'm just going to leave those like that leave that one like that because that's the way I like it um, now I might I might do another one so I'll fold this one over and do it the same okay And with this one, I might have, I might leave that for the front. So I'll turn that inside there. And I will use this rectangle frame here. So I'm just, when I put it down, I just make sure that I've got an even amount of space either side. Of that and it's centered oops and then I wobble it so I move it and I'm just going to draw that on there and then cut it out put the lid on my glue so just just like before, just cut that through.
through both pieces of your paper. Now this one's got rounded edges so I'm just doing the straight line and then I will cut it round. Okay. might be a little bit harder to cut that round edge on the rectangle but I'm going to give it a go anyway I haven't done anything like that before okay all right so I've cut through that and then just try and oh well that's not real round but that'll do me <laughs> okay I didn't follow my line That is really rough rounded rounding freehand. <laughs> but you get the idea, don't you? So you don't have to have a lot of tools like to make your faux cards. Oh look, not perfect, but that'll do. So then I just fold it on the inside there, and you can see that I've left enough room for the gluing. Okay and just to cover up that really rough edge I am going to ink that and give it a good ink because those rounded corners aren't perfect <laughs> definitely not but I can live with that that's okay it doesn't have to be perfect you just got to enjoy what you're doing and if you don't do it just if you don't enjoy it just don't do it Gosh, we've got a noisy day out there today. The, um, the construction next door, I think, is nearly coming to an end. They started to pull all the scaffolding down, which I'm so pleased about. I've had enough of the banging. So it is pretty noisy out there today. All right, and then we grab our piece of plastic. Okay, and... Um, let me see if that piece, that piece there is going to be wide enough. So I'll snip that off there. Okay. And the image for this one, um, I had... Now I've got this one here. I've got um, Uluru. So that's going to fit in there just nicely, but what I'm going to do, um, because that's the back of it, so I'm just going to grab, what, a uh, scrap piece of, um, grab it, grab some, a scrap piece of paper, I might use that one I think. Um, yeah, that'll do. Why not? Okay. And I'm going to glue that onto here. Oh, that might be nice too. What colour is that back? Um, Alright, we'll just use that. Yeah. So, I'm going to glue that onto my scrap piece of paper. I actually think I want that brown on that side, that side up. Okay, I'll do it that way. Put that down there. Uh, and grab my little decorative scissors and snip out my image. Actually, I can go... Oh no, that's it. The white part is actually part of the design of the stamp I've got here. But like you can just grab an image from a magazine that relates to your country. Um, you could even put a flag on there if you wanted to. Just something that shows what country that you come from. 
okay all right so now I am going to just do the same as what I've done before I'm going to glue the plastic backing down first okay and put my plastic on first there's the opening there and put that on there just like that then open up the top bit of plastic so you, if you haven't got like a corner piece that's joined if you've got two pieces um, you can just you've just got to remember to glue Um, your two pieces together okay and then I can put some more glue on the inside of my bottom plastic just so that it holds the top down it won't flap open and now we can just glue the front onto the back so that looks pretty cool different Alright, let me just glue that onto there. Okay, and that's my image of Uluru. And it's also got Australia written on it too. And... We'll try again with this edger. There. I mean corner rounder, not edger. There we go. Okay. And ink the edge because that's what I do. Um, I didn't <laughs> okay I didn't want to leave that blank um, I wanted to do some stamping on it and I totally forgot all about it so <laughs> okay what I might do is see if I can stamp on the plastic with it okay because I really didn't want to leave that blank all right so you know, even the best of us make little faux pas, don't we? Little mistooks. Right, so what I want, let's, um, let's just get. Just get that number, that'll do. We'll just put a number on where I wanted an image. Dear idea. I started thinking about that construction next door. Okay, so I am just going to stamp that on there and hopefully it will stamp on that plastic okay yep that'll do okay so I've got something there anyway so that's made me happy <laughs> oh dear dear oh dear right and um, a label um, with this one I might actually use one of Kerry's labels for the front over here one of witchcraft do you do's labels okay and just get that ink around here so these labels here, they've already they've got specimen number, name, found, and date on them. So 
so they're all ready to just to glue down. Oops, I get glue all over my fingers. Okay, and I'm just going to put that one right there. And maybe another stamp. We shall do the agent one. And we'll put that there. Okay. And put another label here. Um, this one's got, uh, this one has a label stamp as well, but I'm, I'm not going to use that one. But what I might do is this one here. Because this is the specimen label from Tim Holtz. Put that back there. Okay, we'll see how that goes. Okay, right, so. I'll just put that there. Okay. Cool. All right. Now you know, you can really decorate them up however, however ever you want. So, with this one here, oh, it looks lovely. I might put, um, yeah, let's put another one up the top. So I'm just going to punch a hole, grab a an eyelet. And I might get a bit of something. Grab a bit of seam binding. Um, what colour? Hey, let's do that one. a bit of seam binding through this one okay and I'm not going to sew around the edges of this one I'm just going to leave, leave it plain okay all right so there we go Alright, so they're my two faux specimen cards, guys. So I've done that one there that's got Uluru on it in the Northern Territory. Bit of stamping, just a, a label. And then over here I've done the stamping up there and just done another bit of stamping with the specimen thing on the back. Um, this one here, done some stitching around the outside. I've got the wattle emblem there and I have the Waratah. Waratah I think is for Western Australia. Wattle is for New South Wales. And then I've just stuck a little label on here and wrote specimen, done a scribbly, scribbly little signature and put a number on it with stamping and just the same over here and then just added a little dangle down the side. So that's what our challenge is. It's to make um, a specimen card 
and to use an image or a symbol from the country that you come from. Okay, so everybody knows I come from Australia now. <laughs> and they're the other two, just to give you examples um, that you can use the Digi Downloads if you wanted to. But, you know, really, it's so easy just to make up your own little specimen cards. You know, just folding a bit of paper, cutting out a window and adding a bit of plastic on either side of your image. Okay, so that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed that and I can't wait to see what all you fabulous crafters will come up with in our Crafty Patch group on Facebook. Okay, alright, you all have a great day and I will catch you later. Bye bye.